Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Hello viewers. Welcome once again to my channel. My name is Muhammad Atik Anwar and you are watching my channel Muhammad Atik Anwar an education for us all. So this these education uh, um, videos and other uh, subject areas are being put into a separate channel uh, uh, as well so this is obviously uh, in the education section and we have a channel called education for all and you can find it there as well okay so as you can see from um, the title of the slide 11 plus uh, spelling test this is the uh, eighth one that I have created so many many requests uh, for this that I had been neglecting this but uh, there were obviously uh, so many requests for the uh, outdoor videos as well so given the weather weather and uh, my health uh, will be focusing on uh, the indoor activities as it were this the you know the education and the cooking aspect for the next two or three months okay so if you are new to, to, to the channel most welcome if you are existing subscribers you are most welcome so these tests are done in two ways uh, the first one uh, that I call the short way where uh, I will give you the words and explain the words or try to explain the words and then uh, that screen is taken away you will see a picture of me at various stages of my life and we will go through the test or there's the second way where as we say the words the spelling is revealed okay so good luck with that if you are a learner do pause the video um, uh, as much as uh, possible of, uh, as you need obviously um, so let's let's show you the words. So these are the uh, uh, twenty words. So we'll, let's go through them. Grandeur. What can we say about grandeur? Splendid, really, isn't it? And something that's impressive. Uh, heresy. Um, it's to do with religion. So, so and it's also changed over time. So it's what we would say is contrary to orthodox belief so if your religion says something and you go totally against it you may be declared uh, a heretic and in the olden days of course it was uh, punishable uh, by death uh, next one dim so in its strictest meaning it means less light and it is a colloquialism for someone in the olden days again <laughs> that uh, uh, well shall we say of special needs number four immutable uh, mut immutable you're not willing to change unchanging that's a good word uh, effusion effusion is the giving off of a uh, of a gas so the and uh, the effusion of uh, the explosion cacophony um, not a very well nice noise so normally you know it's to do with music music is harmonious so it's a uh, what, what I can well to use the music language it's a harsh uh, discord that's what I would say and it's all sorts of noise okay so if an orchestra plays uh, badly we would say there was a c cacophony of noise community groups of people uh, coming to uh, coming together uh, whether small or large lament has a number of meanings so as a uh, a noun i would say um s great sorrow and it could also be a uh, a complaint and uh, what's the other word I'm looking for also this uh, uh, sorry disappointment number nine broad uh, it's um, a way of saying wide uh, number ten sublime sublime is you know excellent uh, great excellence so we usually say from the sublime to the ridiculous or from the very best to the ridiculous 
receptive you are responsive or the whatever you're talking about is responsive to wh whatever you want it to be crucial very 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 important so without that the activity or the thing wouldn't happen metaphor metaphors are what we call figures of speech so what you're doing is you're comparing things and you don't say the word and you uh, don't say uh, like that would be a simile so metaphor is a figure of speech where you describe it without saying the word or you might uh, compare it again w without saying like suspect um, suspect so you, you you've done something and people think it's you uh, that's done it or the you know usually with to do with uh, crime we suspect people or we think so so I would say suspect but it's so stronger than th uh, think uh, choreographers to do with dance um, uh, what, what do we have in dance steps that's the word I'm looking for so it's you know someone who arranges the steps of a dance which is very important rigid you know not flexible so you are staying so if you're not fle as a person if you're rigid you don't change your ideas because in its strictest sense it, it rigid is uh, it can't move it's not uh, flimsy it's not um, able to bend contempt um, so you uh, don't have respect for something so it's a, a discard D discard is the word disregard sorry disregard and it's also a crime of course if you don't follow the court's orders uh, you are in contempt retain I think everybody should know that to keep something symbolism symbolism is you know another representation so you're using symbols i don't know the you know uh, poison masks or something or uh, an exclamation mark to stop uh, stop people it's it's not writing so it's the i'm, I'm sort of uh, making it sound as if it's uh, all the road markings it isn't it can be other things as well it's, it can be uh, artistic as well where the artists uh, use uh, um either in drawings or in words where they uh, use symbolism to express um, emotions unsurpassed uh, it hasn't happened before I guess and it's better than any other okay so I hope you've understood uh, uh, the words so let's take those uh, away and let's conduct the uh, test so I hope you've got your equipment ready let's start Are we ready? So, word number one is grandeur. Word number one is grandeur. Can you spell grandeur? Word number two is heresy. Word number two, heresy. One more time, heresy. Word number three, dim word number three dim word number four immutable word number four immutable word number five effusion word number five effusion word number six cacophony word number six cacophony one more time cacophony word number seven community word number seven community word number eight lament word number eight is lament word number nine number nine is broad word number nine broad word number ten sublime word number ten sublime word number eleven receptive 
Word number 11, receptive. One more time, receptive. Word number t uh, 12, crucial. Can you spell the word crucial? One more time, crucial. Word number 13, metaphor. Word number 13, metaphor. Word number 13, metaphor. One more time, metaphor. Word number 14, suspect. Suspe suspect. Su yep. <laughs> Word number 15, choreographer. Word number 15, choreographer. Word number 16, rigid. Word number 16, is rigid. Word number 17 is contempt. Word number 17 contempt. One more time contempt. Word number 18 retain. Word number 18 retain. Word number 18 is retain. Word number 19 is symbolism. Word number 19 is symbolism. Can you spell symbolism? And finally, unsurpassed. Unsurpassed. Word 20, unsurpassed. Well done, everybody. So let's put up the other screen again and you can check your answers. So there are the words uh, once again. So uh, please freeze the screen uh, to check and uh, then we're going to uh, uh, move on. So as I keep reminding you, 15 uh, is the benchmark and I do suggest that you try and um, write a sentence with all of these words because these are what we call a high level words and they would be very good to use in the 11 plus uh, exam so for those of you that don't know what the 11 plus is it's a, a an entrance exam that's done for grammar schools okay so some of you may not want to do the second part of it so i say to you uh, thank you for watching please uh, keep watching Please like, share and subscribe to the channel, tell all your friends, etc. So those of you that are uh, uh, doing this bit, uh, sorry, the uh, word at a time now. So what we're going to do is uh, uh, start with the first word. So I hope you've got your um, equipment ready. <coughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Let's start. Word number one is grandeur. Word number one is grandeur. Can you spell grandeur? Okay, let's reveal grandeur. That is how we spell grandeur. Word number two is heresy. Word number two is heresy. Can you spell heresy? Word number two is heresy. So I'm about to reveal word number two, heresy. Word number three, dim. Dim. Okay, so it's better than, let's say, let's put on the lights. Let's, sorry, let's turn down the lights. It's better to say dim the lights or the room was very dim. So, nice easy one. Number four, immutable. Word number four is immutable. Immutable. Let's reveal immutable.
Word number five is effusion. Word number five is effusion. One more time, effusion. This is how we spell effusion. Word number six is cacophony. Word number six, cacophony. Can you spell cacophony? One more time, cacophony. Word number six is cacophony. One more time, cacophony. So let's reveal cacophony. Word number seven is community. Can you spell community? Word number seven is community. Okay, let's reveal community. Word number eight is lament. Word number eight is lament. Word number eight is lament. Let's reveal number eight. Word number nine is broad. Word number nine is broad. Can you spell broad? Okay, let's reveal number nine. Broad. Then the next one, number 10, sublime. Sublime. So halfway, number 10, sublime. Let's reveal number 10, sublime. Number 12 is crucial. Sorry, number 11 is, I've uh, got the wrong one, uh, is receptive. Number 11, the word is receptive. Can you spell the word receptive? Okay, let's reveal number 11, receptive. Okay, and as I said, number 12 is crucial. Word number 12, crucial. Can you spell the word crucial? One more time, crucial. Let's reveal number 12. That's how we spell crucial. Word number 13 is metaphor. Word number 13, metaphor. Can you spell the word metaphor? Word number 13, metaphor. Can you spell the word metaphor? Word number 13, metaphor. Let's reveal number 13, metaphor. Word number 14, suspect. Word number 14, suspect. So when, sorry, this can be a person as well, so we do it, suspect. Okay, let's reveal number 14, suspect. Number 15, choreographer. Word number 15, choreographer. Can you spell choreographer? One more time, choreographer. Okay, hope you've written it down. Let's reveal number 15, choreographer. Word number 16 is rigid. Can you spell rigid? Word number 16 is rigid. Number 16, the word is rigid. Let's reveal rigid. 
Word number seven is contempt. Word, sorry, word sev uh, number 17 is contempt. One more time, contempt. So let's reveal word number 17, contempt. Word number 18 is retain. Word number 18 is retain. Can we spell the word retain? Okay, let's reveal retain. Word number 19 is symbolism. Can you spell the word symbolism? Word number 19, symbolism. Okay, let's reveal word 19, symbolism. Just one more to go. Number 20, unsurpassed. Unsurpassed. Word number 20, unsurpassed. Can you spell unsurpassed? Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Let's reveal word 20, unsurpassed. Okay, this is how we spell unsurpassed. Excellent. Well done, everybody. So I do hope you enjoyed that, and I do hope uh, you got uh, 15 or more. If uh, you didn't, then, um, you know, we need to practice, and uh, I'm sure we'll succeed next time. That is the end of the uh, test, uh, viewers. I do thank you for watching, and as always, we make the plea, please, like share and subscribe to the channel so thank you very much to the people who have subscribed recently we've seen a, a little uh, increase but the view time is not uh, that great uh, so please try and watch the um, videos fully please tell all your friends please tell your family colleagues whoever you think will benefit from uh, my uh, videos so until the next time i say thank you for watching look after yourselves look after others apna khayal rakhna dusron ka khayal rakhna dua mein yaad rakhna allah hafiz